Hi everybody, well I've completed the video, I hope you will enjoy it, it is also uh, cooking with herbs and with the intention, like love and healing, because warmth soup always makes you warm, and I've put my intention into the soup. I hope you enjoy it, I'll leave the recipe down below, and remember you can use any herbs instead of ginger, you, you can use Oregon, or you can use basil, use your imagination and enjoy. And I've also made a pumpkin. Uh, I did put also bay leaf into it and the little meatballs, you can exclude them, but if you would like to make meatballs then just, I got 300 ounces of minced meat, I made four big meatballs that size and I ate them with uh, my daughter and I had uh, two left over for the next day and the rest of the meatballs I made little ones like that and what you do is you get minced meat uh, like 300 grams I used one egg and I used salt and pepper and nutmeg and I also put in two Dutch rusks which you have to rub fine but you can also recycle old bread toast it and rub the uh, toasted bread together into the eggs this will help to um, put it together bound it together and then you just lightly fry them up cool them down if you're not going to use them immediately and put them in the fridge so that it doesn't go off and then you can put them into the soup when you're ready so I hope that's clarified uh, the way that I've cooked it sorry about the noise now and again but I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you later ciao ciao hi everybody well this is what I'm going to do I've got onions garlic and pepper and I'm going to make a pumpkin pie and the pumpkin is three euros and weighs 800 kilos and I hope you can see I only hope it's not going to jump off the what you might call it and it's quite tough so I might have to stop the video um, in order so I don't cut myself and I don't get distracted I'll be back in a mo. okay thank you right uh, I hope there is enough light my darlings so there we go I've got the pumpkin cut wow look at that it's full of meat so it's quite tough on the hands so get some gloves or get somebody to hold it for you now I'm going to hollow it out I hope it's going to be easy it's a bit like a melon it's got big seeds in it you must get them out you can dry the seeds and in some cases you can give them if you dry them you can give them to the birds okay I'm going to do this in steps so I've got a bowl here so this is what you can do recycle it is animal friendly my daughter's got rats and she bought two pumpkins and she's drying the seeds and giving the seeds to the rats because there's a lot of nutritious vitamins in there look and that is what a seed looks like okay now I'm going to take a while because it's quite flashy and I have to put them out into a bowl Millie is already dancing around because she thinks it's food for her <laughs> right. there's no smell but it smells a bit like you there's no smell as such but it's, it's the, a long time ago since I've emptied out a pumpkin it smells a bit like cucumber now I've been I've never had pumpkin soup so this is the first time for me 
Now I'm going to make pumpkin soup. And I'm going to make it with ginger. Because ginger is also, as we know, clears the liver. It helps to sustain the liver. I've washed my hands beforehand. It's quite sticky. Nearly done. I'm not a very good cook on YouTube <laughs> or on, on uh, what you call it videos. Let's have a look. Make sure you've got them all out. Scrape it all out. Beautiful colour though. Right, that is done. Now I'm going to. It's a bit lopsided, but I'm going to keep it like that. So when I put it back on, I'll be hollowing it out and I'll use the flesh for, um, what do you want to call it? For um, the soup and I will let it dry outside and then you can put a candle in it and I will put the two eyes. But I will show you what I will do with the pumpkin afterwards. So that is the pumpkin all clean. So I'm just going to get everything ready for cooking. So I'll see you in a bit. Well, here you see the pumpkin. It's all nice and clean. And I'll leave it like that, a jar for tonight so that can dry. And I'll do the next stage with the pumpkin tomorrow. And then we have ginger, two, three cloves of garlic, and two chopped up onions. This is all that I have left. It's quite a bit and I'm going to saute it um, uh, right now and then I can let it cool down and then liquidize it or with the liquidizer or with the staff mixer. I will be adding salt and pepper to it and a pint or a pint and a half of stock and I will be doing vegetable stock but I will tell you later what I'm doing as extra because you can have this as vegetarian or you can have this for ordinary eaters or people that eat meat because in Holland we have meatballs in our soup so I'm going to do it the Dutch way and not the vegetarian way I'll make one bit vegetarian and the next uh, the separate bit for meat eaters and that is what I wanted to show you this is my exciting idea so I'll be burning candles on Halloween uh, with my pumpkin. See you later again. Take care. I've chucked in the um, onions, garlic and ginger. Now I've also added salt and pepper and now it is going to uh, fry, uh, saute and then I will put in the pumpkin. Milliliters of chicken stock. I'm going to pour that in. Stir all the gush and the muck and the mush through it. Through. You can go in. Oh, I'm a bitch. <laughs> okay. Just remove the lid and I hope you can see. I'll just move the camera so you can see the goo. And that is what it looks like. And it's got to sit there for a half an hour before I can come back to it and add the milk, because I'm going to add milk um, to it, not cream, but it does say add cream. And then I'm going to add Dutch cheese to it when I'm eating instead of Parmesan. So I hope it will entice you or motivate you to make your own pumpkin soup with um, French bread with garlic, butter and herbs. Ooh, scrumptious. See you later. Hi everybody. Well, it's been cooking for a half an hour and I've got to go live in a 25 minutes. But I've got my staff mixer, I've switched off the heat and I'm holding one side of the pan with um, a, a glove. So here we go, don't mind the noise. 
Well, these are my meatballs. I, as I said, I don't eat much meat and the other half of the pan will go to some friends of mine but I'm their vegetarian and I'm doing this with the meatballs. So at this stage um, it's quite thick and creamy. I'm going to add the meatballs and reheat it again. The meatballs are minced meat. Uh, can be chicken, can be uh, beef, it can be a mixture of pig and beef because we in Holland have uh, several kinds of minced meat, also from chicken. Now I'm only going to put about an egg cup of milk in it to smoothen it up a bit. Usually you do cream, cream but I don't want to be my food to be too greasy and fatty. So I'm going to start up the heat again and heat, heat up the soup again, bring it back to simmer and boil so that the meatballs will warm up and since I'm usually on my own I can freeze this up into four or three sections it depends what uh, how big the soup bowl is I'm just going to let it simmer and then I'm going to have my soup I hope you've enjoyed it so far and I hope to see you back for the creative part. Okay, I would say have a beautiful Halloween day and I hope you get creative with children and enjoy the meal. All in all, uh, the meat was 180 I think. I've got a photo of it, I will include it in the photos in editing. The pumpkin was 250 or 350. No, 350 and the rest I had in the house besides the onions well just say 25 cents per onion and then garlic well that's also a couple of cents so for about four euros a person you have a soup three to four euros okay all in all with all the ingredients have a scrumptious night and have a beautiful Halloween Take care and God bless. Hi everybody, good morning. Well, we're going to put the ice into the um, pumpkin and the big smile. So once I've finished, I will be back on tape. Hi everybody, this is the end result of the pumpkin. Now we have to put a light in it, so hold on. Well there you are, you've got the pumpkin and I've got two tea lights in it. One for each eye because one tea light was not sufficient and it gives a beautiful light. I'm ready for Halloween, are you? So take care and enjoy your pumpkin soup and your pumpkin making. Ciao, ciao.